All right, today we're looking at how to create an area chart in Google Sheets. So we have a data set here. If we select this chunk of it here, click insert chart. Automatically, it will do a column chart, but we can go over here to chart type and select an area chart. So this is the very basics of creating an area chart. Obviously, in a single series chart like this, it's not super helpful beyond a normal line chart. And so let's go ahead and redo this, this whole data set. Click insert chart. And we can go back to the same area chart, but you can see this looks a little muddled now. This is probably not as helpful. And so what we usually use this for is a stacked area chart. So you can get to it directly from here, or if you've selected an area chart, you can add it here under standard. And this gives you an idea of both the overall numbers and the relative amount from each region that is contributing to that total. So let's go ahead and just quickly customize this chart just a little bit on the view. Drag this over here, get rid of this month, and then we'll jump into some of the finer details of the itch. So first of all, if we go back to our setup, one thing we want to do here is look at what happens when you go to a hundred percent. And so a hundred percent doesn't show you the overall numbers or the overall orders in this regard. But what this does do, it gives you a very good visual representation of the percentage and it helps you to map out the differences over time. Whereas if you go back to a standard, you can kind of tell that the Northeast is growing a little bit, but it's a little easier to tell in this overall stacked 100%. So we go back to standard. Another way that you can do this as well to see those changes is go to a stepped area chart. And so again, you can see there, and this doesn't really give you an idea of how much that change was. It can, you can see a little bit here, but it has a little bit of step going on regardless. But this does give you a better idea of where it's going. And so for example, if we modify one of these numbers in here and bump this down, you can see that step down right there. All right, so finally, let's go ahead and just reset our chart to a stacked area chart here. And then we can go ahead and call it good for today. I hope that helps you to see how quick and easy it is to make an area chart that helps you to quickly visualize your data.